This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez with the latest headlines from RTV6. Peace of mind for a Shelby County family whose roof was mistakenly stripped of its shingles while they were out camping. And only on RTV6, we are getting results. Kevin and Shelly Giles welcome the generosity of a Johnson County based company which helped fix this problem. SPG Roofing and Restoration reached out to RTV6 after hearing about the couple's plight on Tuesday. On Thursday, they cleared that roof and installed new shingles. Kevin Giles believes a separate company mistakenly removed his roof because he had packages of shingles outside of his home. After 10 hours, SPG fixed the mess that was left behind. It has worked out more than I could ever ask for or believe. It feels like a dream. We just wanted to give back to the community and uh, help somebody that was uh, in need of our help. A crew of seven was able to complete the job. We want to thank SPG Roofing and Restoration for reaching out to use their skills and help save this family between four and five thousand dollars. The Giles family sent us a picture of the roof installation that is now all complete. Uh, Kevin and Shelley have joked about thinking twice before going on another vacation anytime soon. The missing roof was enough of an unwanted surprise. Advocates tell RTV6 that they're concerned about the lack of answers surrounding an oil spill in the White River which occurred last week. The Indiana Department of Environmental Management says it is still working with Citizens Energy to identify the source of that discharge. Now this happened through the city's combined sewer outfalls near Bluff Road and West Southeastern Avenue. It is also unclear how big the September 3rd spill was. The Hoosier Environmental Council, the White River Alliance, and the Friends of White River are all demanding answers and accountability. Now let's check your forecast with meteorologist Kevin Gregory. Thunderstorms during the day tomorrow, Raphael, as a cold front rolls into this heat and humidity and sparks some thunderstorms. There's a low or marginal risk for severe storms. Timing of this, you can see early afternoon into early evening, the most likely time for thunderstorms. Temperatures will peak earlier in the day tomorrow. Thunderstorms then will transition a southwest wind to more of a westerly direction and allow cooler and also drier air in. Saturday will be the best feeling day of the entire seven day forecast. 81 for the high with low humidity. Humidity's back. We're back in the upper 80s by Monday. Kevin, thank you so much for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.